Now, one of the questions I get asked quite a lot is how do I come up with what keywords to target on YouTube? It's very important that you choose your keywords to make sure that there is actually an audience for the videos you're creating, because that is what will bring you organic traffic. So one of my favorite techniques is actually going to the YouTube search box and typing in your target market. Um, so if you're thinking about creating a video about how to create custom YouTube thumbnails, one of the things you might want to type in is YouTube, YouTube thumbnails. And what you will see is a whole bunch of different um, phrases appearing, which people have been typing in and searching. So these are great keywords to actually target. So how to make good YouTube thumbnails, how to make YouTube thumbnails GIMP with GIMP, which is a, a piece of software, how to make YouTube thumbnails, YouTube thumbnails PSD, uh, which is Photoshop, YouTube thumbnail size, YouTube thumbnails template. So this gives you loads of keywords which you can target straight away. It's also great to use these kind of things in your tags. So this is one of my favorite techniques. And if I delete the S, I will probably see a whole bunch of different ones. So as you can see, there's so many different um, keywords that you can target. And the great thing about using this technique is this is what people are actually searching for in YouTube. So when you think of a concept for a video that you want to make, type in the main keyword and it will give you a bunch of extensions on that keyword, which potentially could be what your, your audience is typing in. So this is my first technique. Uh, second is using a tool like YouTube's keyword tool. Now, I'm going to be completely honest with you. It is an absolute nightmare. It's not as good as it should be. They, they seem to hold back on a lot of information. Um, I'll show you what I mean now. Now, if I type in YouTube thumbnails and click on get keyword ideas, instantly you're going to see a bunch of uh, very unrelated topics. But inside here, amongst here, you will you will get a couple of ideas. So custom thumbnails, YouTube, awesome YouTube thumbnails. So that's a couple of ideas. Um, but what you will notice down the side is it says not enough data. Now, this doesn't mean there's not people searching for it because I know for a fact there are a lot of people searching for custom thumbnails on YouTube. Um, so don't worry too much about if it says not enough data. Um, usually the ones with um, a big monthly search volume are very tricky to rank for anyway. Um, so don't put too much emphasis on if there's no monthly search volume. It Honestly, a lot of the time it doesn't matter. Anyway, so this gives you a general idea of some other um, keywords you could potentially use. Um, as you can see, there's adding thumbnails and there's a couple more down here somewhere change YouTube thumbnail and I'm sure there's a couple of others but it's not the best tool in the world. Um, one of my favorite techniques I've been using a lot recently is actually using one of the premium tube tracker features and it's actually the tag extractor. Now what the tag extractor does it goes to a video and it extracts all of the tags. So if I type in YouTube thumbnails and select how many videos I want to use in my extraction process. So let's say 20, and then I click on extract. It comes up with a list of all of these different uh, tags which have been collected from the top 20 videos for that particular keyword. So now, for example, if I look through these, how to make thumbnails, thumbnail tutorials, how to make YouTube thumbnails, how to use thumbnails, um, you get a lot of random ones as well, but uh, YouTube custom thumbnails, custom YouTube thumbnail, YouTube custom thumbnail. It get, literally gives you every single order. And this is one of my favorite techniques at the moment for just finding awesome keywords. So basically, if you find a bunch which don't make any sense, you just click on them and they disappear. So you can go through them really quickly, get rid of the irrelevant ones, um, and it takes all these keywords from the top 20 videos so it really is extremely powerful 
Um, obviously, you use this to actually, when you upload a video, you use it to put in your tags, but you can also use it to find potential ideas for keywords in your title or description. So, I mean, there, there's literally millions of ideas here and you can copy them to Excel files or you can just click copy tags. So, this is a great way of coming up with um, keywords. There's one more technique um, and that is using paid software. There's a couple of bits of paid software on the market. Um, some of it's great, some of it's not so great. But to be honest, you can, you can do quite a lot just with the going to YouTube and typing in your keyword, you can get some very good ideas. I love the tube tracker uh, tag extractor. It's one of my favorite techniques at the moment. But you can also use a tool like the Google Keyword Planner to find um, potential search phrases that people are searching for. Because often if they're searching for them in Google, they're probably searching for them in YouTube as well. And the fact is you can get your YouTube videos to rank on Google if you know how to optimize them and you can get a lot of traffic from that um, from Google anyway so it's definitely worth using the Google keyword tool as well so I hope this has helped you and I will see you in the next video